This video will focus on leverage ratios, which are used to analyze a firm's financial structure. Recall that both shareholders and creditors have claims to a portion of the company's assets, and this is shown using the accounting equation where assets equals liabilities plus equity, where liabilities represent the amount of firm's assets financed by creditors, and equity represents the amount of a firm's assets financed by shareholders. Together, creditor and shareholder capital form the financial structure of the corporation. In this chapter, we will cover four key leverage ratios, the debt ratio, the equity ratio, the debt-to-equity ratio, and the times interest earned. Let's begin with the debt ratio which measures the proportion of assets financed by debt and is calculated by taking total liabilities divided by total assets. For Big Dog, the 2024 debt ratio is 50.48% or 0.5048 to 1, calculated as $1,255,000 in total liabilities divided by $2,486,000 in total assets. We can interpret this to mean that each dollar worth of assets is financed by 50.48 cents in debt. The 2023 and 2022 ratios are 43.42% and 26.04%, respectively, calculated the same way. Overall, we can see the progression of assets becoming more and more financed by debt, rising from about 26% in 2022 to over 50% in 2024. This means Big Dog is becoming more leveraged, or more reliant on debt financing. Now let's look at the equity ratio which measures the proportion of assets financed by equity and is calculated by taking total equity divided by total assets. We can also calculate it by taking the debt ratio and subtract it from 100%. For Big Dog, the 2024 equity ratio is 49.92% calculated as $1,231,000 in total equity divided by $2,486,000 in total assets. We can interpret this to mean that each dollar worth of assets is financed by 49.52 cents in equity. We saw this when we calculated the debt ratio and observed that, if the debt ratio was almost 50%, then the equity ratio is also about 50%. The total equity ratios are 56.58% and 73.96% for 2023 and 2022, respectively. We are seeing the flip side of the debt ratio here where there is a decline in the equity ratio from almost 74% in 2022 to less than 50% in 2024 this decline in the reliance on equity financing supports the increase in reliance of debt financing. Generally, this is considered to be an unfavorable trend because as debt financing increases, equity financing must be decreasing. The greater the debt financing, the greater the risk because principal and interest payments are part of debt financing. The third leverage ratio is the debt-to-equity ratio which measures the proportion of creditors to shareholders' claims and is calculated simply as total liabilities divided by total equity. For Big Dog, the 2024 debt-to-equity ratio is 1.02 to 1, calculated as $1,255,000 in total liabilities divided by $1,231,000 in total equity. We generally don't report this ratio as a percentage, but more as a ratio of debt to equity. We can interpret this to mean that, for every dollar financed by the shareholders via equity, Big Dog is financing $1.02 in debt through creditors. For 2023 and 2022, the ratios are 0.77 to 1 and 0.35 to 1, respectively, calculated the same way. As we can see, the proportion of debt to equity is increasing. In 2022, the debt to equity ratio was 35 cents of liability for each dollar of equity. In 2024, the ratio has increased to $1.02 of liability for each dollar of equity. This supports the conclusions of the debt and equity ratios separately and is cause for concern. This also leads us to a brief discussion about financing assets through becoming more leveraged with debt because there are some pros and cons for and against. On the plus side, management's reliance on creditor financing can be good because issuing more shares to investors may weaken the percentage of ownership and control of the existing shareholders. In addition, existing shareholders may see creditor financing as a good decision if the company can earn more with borrowed funds than the interest paid on the debt.
On the downside, management's increasing reliance on creditor financing increases risk because interest and principal must be paid, and interest rates can rise causing net income to decrease. Overall, there is no single most appropriate debt-to-equity ratio. The last leverage ratio is the times interest earned ratio which measures the company's ability to pay interest to long-term creditors. The ratio is calculated by taking income from operations and dividing by interest expense. For Big Dog, the 2024 times interest earned ratio is 3.37 to 1, or 3.37 times, calculated as $300,000 in income from operating divided by $89,000 in interest expense. We can interpret this to mean that Big Dog generates operating income 3.37 times its interest expense, or that for every dollar in interest expense, the company has $3.37 in operating income to cover the interest. For 2023 the ratio is 4.49 times, and we can't calculate the ratio for 2022 because there was no interest expense. The larger the ratio, the better creditors are protected. Big Dog's ratio is decreasing, so interest expense is increasing at a greater rate than income from operations. Creditors need to assess the company's plans and projections to be confident that the company will be able to generate sufficient operating income to cover the interest on debt.